is your religion good enough for God? That's the question we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about Nicodemus, a man, a religious man, who met with Jesus. He talked with Jesus. In John chapter 3, we read his story. It says, There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews, who came to Jesus by night and said, Rabbi, we know that you're a teacher come from God. No one can do the, the miraculous signs that you do unless God is with him. And Jesus answered and said to him, Most assuredly, I say unto you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus was a very, very religious man. Think about it. Of all the nations and all the peoples on the earth at that time, the Jews were possibly the most religious. Beyond that, it says he was a Pharisee. Pharisees were a type of Jew who had dedicated themselves to keeping the Old Testament law, the 610 commands in the Old Testament. That wasn't enough for them. To get it really right, they added another uh, hundreds of other laws until they had over a thousand laws that they were supposed to keep as Pharisees. But that wasn't enough. He was a leader, a ruler among the Jews. That means he was one of the 70 uh, religious leaders in the entire nation of Israel, the Sanhedrin, the 70. So of all the people on earth, he was one of the top 70. In fact, he was a leader among the Pharisees. So he was a very religious man, but when he stood before God, Jesus said, you got to be born again. Unless you're born again, you won't even see the kingdom of heaven. What's he going to say when you stand before Jesus? Is he going to say, you should have been born again? He said, what does it mean to be born again? That's what Nicodemus asked. Nicodemus said to him, how can a man be born when he's old? Can he enter a second time into his mother's womb and be born? Well, Jesus is talking about needing a second birth. Our first birth is not good enough. You see, we're born with a sinful nature. Because of sin, we can't please God. We can't live up to God's standard. We're not good enough to merit an eternal relationship with God in a home, in a perfect place, a holy place, heaven. Our religion is not good enough. You talk to people and they will say, well, I've been baptized, I joined a church, my dad was a, a deacon, my mom was a Sunday school teacher. Is that good enough? Well, Nicodemus followed all the religious rules and Jesus said, it's not good enough, you need a second birth, your first birth is not good enough. And then Jesus answered and said to him, unless a man is born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Don't marvel that I say unto you, you must be born again, but be born of the Spirit. So he not only needed a second birth, he needed a spiritual birth. Jesus divided the two. He said, when you're born of the flesh, your body is born. That's a water birth. Your mom is carrying you in, in her stomach when she's pregnant. And when her water breaks, then you know it's time for the baby to be born. Physical birth. Jesus said, that which is born of the flesh is, is flesh. You've got to be born of water, but you also have to be born of the Spirit. That which is born of the Spirit is spirit. There needs to be a second time in your life, another time in your life, when you experience a spiritual birth, a regeneration, when you give your life to Jesus Christ, trust in Him, and are born again by faith. So you need a second birth. You also need a spiritual birth. Beyond that, you need a supernatural birth. It says in verse 8, the wind blows where it wishes, and you can hear the sound of it, but can't tell where it comes from or where it goes. So is everyone who is born of the Spirit. So you need a second birth, a spiritual birth, a supernatural birth, a birth that only God can do in your life. It says in John chapter 1, verse 12 and 13, it says, As many as received him, Jesus, to them he gave the right to become, to be born as children of God, those who believe in his name, who are not born, uh, who were born not of blood, physical birth, nor the will of the flesh, physical birth, 
nor the will of man, physical birth, but are born of God, spiritual birth. In America, we have birth certificates and people celebrate their physical birthdays. But when is your, was your spiritual birthday? When did you receive Jesus? When did you believe in his name? For God so loved the world, it says in John 3.16, that he gave his only son that whoever believes in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. That begins the moment you're born again, the very life of God comes into your life. Have you admitted that you need Jesus as your Savior? That you can't save yourself? That your religion is not good enough? Have you admitted that? Have you believed that Jesus died for your sins and rose again from the dead to pay for your sins? Have you called upon the name of the Lord Jesus to save you, to forgive you, to come into your life? That's what Jesus was telling Nicodemus he needed to do. And that's what I'm telling you need to do if you want to be born again. And Jesus said, you're not even going to see the kingdom of God unless you've been born again.